Hey everyone! I meant to make this video a long time ago, but I figured that I would wait until I'm done with everything so then I could show you guys the end result. But this video is going to be my experience with jaw surgery as well as what you should expect if you're going to be getting jaw surgery. I suppose I should probably introduce myself in case if you don't know me or haven't been following my blog or other videos. But my name is Alyssa and I am 23 years old and I am six and a half months post double jaw surgery. I got the Lafort 1 and the bilateral sagittal split osteotomy. To give you an idea of what I looked like before, I'm going to show you a before picture. So, so the Lafort 1 procedure, what they did was they ended up cutting this bone right here. They brought it up six millimeters and my bottom they ended up cutting the bone on the side here and brought my chin forward nine millimeters I had a 10 millimeter overjet so they wanted to correct that as well as the gummy smile here is an x-ray from before my surgery So that's a little history on me. Alright, so as for my experience, I know that every experience is going to be different just because any videos and blogs that I read, it was different for me. So just know that like whenever you're watching these videos, if you are going to be getting jaw surgery, that you shouldn't expect everything that people say just because yours will probably be a little bit different. Um, so my jaw surgery was July 29th, 2013 six and a half months ago it's so crazy um it was on a Monday and I had to be there at 6 a.m. for an 8 a.m. surgery and we live like an hour away so it was an early morning um whenever we first got there we had to check in at this one desk where I got like some papers and I got a wristband thing and then we had to sit there for a couple minutes and then they ended up bringing us upstairs to another waiting room and shortly later I was brought to my pre-op room it was really fast like we didn't have to wait very much at all oh I went there with my mom and my sister-in-law they were so supportive um so we I ended up being in the pre-op room and in there it was probably maybe a half an hour and in that time I had to get this outfit on and I had to take a couple of tests and then the anesthesiologist came in and they figured out my IV um, in that time there was also another person in there asking me a ton of questions then I ended up getting my head wrapped so they took like all my hair and then they like put this thing around my head to keep my hair on my face and before I knew it my surgeon was in my room and she was like so do you have any other questions before we start and I'm like no I mean like this whole time I was just like really excited like I had a little bit of nerves it was probably I was probably like 95% excited and like 5% nervous. I don't think it's normal for people to be like so excited about a jaw surgery but whenever it came to me I was just like really excited and as you can tell I'm still like excited about it. So anyways so after my surgeon left um, the anesthesiologist came back in and she gave me this nasal spray so I had to spray it up my nose because they were gonna be putting a tube down my nose and then she started pumping in the sleeping stuff and I started feeling really light and she's like okay are you ready to go and I'm like yeah and then so then she started like pushing my bed and then I could start to feel it I was like starting to feel like dizzy and sleepy and as she was pushing me through the hallways I was just like looking at the ceiling and she's like do you feel like you've had a couple too many drinks and I'm like yeah so then I, I, I remember being pulled into the operating room and I saw the big silver door shut and I'm like oh my gosh and then I like look over and 
I saw my picture and my x-ray posted on the wall and I'm like oh my god that's my picture and then I was gonna like refocus my eyes to like look at it again and whenever I whenever I blinked I was out and my surgery ended up being three hours and ten minutes and it seemed like it was really like five seconds once I fell asleep but then once I woke up I was only supposed to be in recovery for an hour just so that they can keep an eye on you to make sure that the anesthesia is like wearing off and whatever I ended up being in there for three hours because I was in a lot of pain and I was not expecting that and I was really hot and with those two things my blood pressure ended up being like really high and for three hours like I only remember maybe five minutes total of it like off and on and of that time that I was in there my pain was at like an eight or nine out of ten and it was mostly in my upper upper cut and I was just like really hot I was sweating so I, I went like this like I couldn't really open up my eyes I was too tired I just went like this and then she's like are you hot and I'm like yeah and then she like felt me and she's like oh my god you're sweating and I don't know what they ended up doing and but my mom and my sister-in-law were informed and they were they were updated on everything and before I knew it I was getting pulled up to my regular room and once I got up there there was like this thing underneath my bed um, like the surgery surgery bed it was like a inflatable thing and they like blew it up and it was kind of like a little tub around my body and then they like transferred me over to the other bed and then they like deflated that and then they like rolled me over and then they pulled the thing out but um yeah I was tired for the rest of that day um slept a lot I couldn't really keep my eyes open too much um, by the time I got to my room, it was at like a 5 or a 6 for pain. Um, by the end of the night, before I ended up going to sleep, it was already down to like a 1 or a 2. Like I could feel a little bit of pain, but it wasn't as bad. And I was like, oh, thank God. Like it was, it was painful. And I wasn't expecting that because most of the blogs and videos that I saw, people said that they didn't really feel anything. So I was like really shocked. But um, that first night, it was hard because I had these things up my nose because whenever they cut up here, they cut into your nasal cavity. So your nose bleeds a lot. So they ended up having these plugs up my nose, which caused me to breathe through my mouth. And so it like dried out the back of my throat. And with the blood being in my nose, it ran down my throat. So then I had this thick mucus, blood stuff in the back of my throat and it was like hard to breathe and it was like really scary. So like whenever I tried to fall asleep, I, I could just like feel that thick phlegm in my mouth and so the first night I did not sleep very well. I, it was probably maybe two, two and a half hours like off and on. It was probably for like 15 minutes and then I'd wake up and plus I had this um, blood pressure cuff on my arm that checked it every like 15 minutes and so that was kind of annoying and then I had I had a very very sweet nurse that came in at night and she was like so patient with me because after jaw surgery I mean you can't really talk the best and so she was very patient and she would just like sit on the bed and just like listen to me and she was like she was very good at understanding me and then there was like some nurses that weren't as good but I mean, if you're getting jaw surgery, I would suggest bringing, like, a whiteboard with a marker and have that along, and you can write to the nurses if they can't understand you. And the next day, I did not eat very much. I had one of these, like, frozen ice things, and then I had, like, part of an ice cream container, and it was, it was hard. I mean, like, the, the fact of trying to, like, open up your mouth, that was, like, the most difficult part at that point. And then after 
after they saw that I was trying to eat and trying to drink, and at that point I was, like, getting up to go to the bathroom by myself, well, with other people, but, I mean, I could walk on my own. So then later that day I was able to get discharged. Um, I ended up leaving around noon the next day, so it wasn't very long. Um, my pain was at a one or two still the next day, and my surgeon came in, and she was really happy with the results, and she saw that I was eating, and um, the swelling wasn't as bad um, like the first couple of days, but it usually, well for me, it peaked like maybe the third or fourth day. And that's normal. Um, I had a steroid that helped with the swelling, so I didn't get as chunky as some people did. But I mean, it was still, it was still noticeable. I mean, having double jaw surgery, you're gonna get swollen. Um, as for my plates, I ended up getting. I'll show you some X-rays. This is a panoramic. So I have two on the bottom here. And one right here, 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 and here. Which are they're right here, here, and here. You can't feel them at all. I mean, right now we're in winter, so every once in a while whenever I'm outside for a little bit, or actually a long time, then I can start to feel like pain. It's like more like pressure. I mean, it doesn't like feel like anything. You can't feel them under your skin. Some people said that they can, but I can't. Um, this is another view of my... And as you can see, I still have a little bit of an overjet, and my orthodontist and my surgeon were trying to work together, and they were trying to figure out how to bring my teeth back more. And... I had rubber bands on pulling my front teeth back and my back or bottom teeth forward and my orthodontist said that they're at like the maximum movement so I I can't get them to move anymore but my surgeon said that it's because of the jaw joint here and how it grew or, or how it healed and so it's just gonna have to stay that way but that's at a four millimeter overbite and or over jet and before I had a 10 so it's considerably better and the main things that I wanted fixed are fixed so I'm happy I, I am really happy with the results and if my surgeon would have said okay well we should do a second surgery just to fix that completely I would have been down for it like I would have been like okay let's do it today like Honestly, jaw surgery is not as bad as what you would expect it to be, but I also had like a positive mind like through the whole thing, and I feel like I recovered a lot faster than some people. Um, as for like the diet and everything, I I could eat pretty much anything. For like the first day, I had to be on liquids, and then like for a couple of weeks, I think it was like two weeks, I had to be on like soft food, and then I could just try to experiment from like there on out. And my surgeon was like, yeah, like she encouraged me to try to like chew a little bit more, and um, my surgeon is awesome. If you are from Minnesota, go to the University of Minnesota and ask for Pamela Hughes. She's amazing, and she's so sweet and so nice. As for numbness, after surgery, everything was numb. I could, I could still feel everything, but I, I, I felt like everything was numb. Now, I can feel everything except my upper gums. They still have a little bit of numbness. And my, at my last surgeon appointment, she's like, yeah, that'll probably take the most time just because, like, it's such an invasive cut. And she's like, it'll take a little bit. As for the price of my surgery... I was expecting it to be 20000 around that ballpark just because of other people that had double jaw surgery. That's what I read. And mine, everything was paid by my insurance, which I am so blessed and thankful that I, don't, I didn't have to pay a penny. But 
I mean, I went through a lot of hard work to try to get this jaw surgery, and I never gave up, and it was worth it. Um, I ended up getting a itemized bill, and I once I saw the number, I'm like, what? How can a surgery be that much? Anyways, my surgery was $31,000. But ever since the day of my jaw surgery, there hasn't been one day that has passed that I'm not thankful that I got the jaw surgery. I mean, it's nice whenever people you know, like friends and family, tell you that you have a nice smile, but whenever you get compliments from like strangers that don't even know you, and they're like, I love your smile, you have a nice smile, it's just like, Wow, it's just like, it makes you think about it a little bit more whenever I never really got comments like that before with my old smile and just knowing that, I mean, compliment, compliments definitely boost your self-esteem, but just to know that, or just to know that strangers notice it and it, it just kind of gives you more of that confidence boost knowing that Oh, people do notice, and it it is a world of a difference, I think, considering looking at the change. I'm really happy with it, and um, I suppose I should wrap this up. I feel like I'm probably forgetting stuff, but I always feel like I'm forgetting stuff. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to either comment below, or else you can... Go to my blog. Um, my blog is lifewithjawsurgery.wordpress.com and I've been updating that ever since the jaw surgery. So I have a ton of information, a ton of pictures. I have some other videos on there as well, but I just wanted to post this video to let you guys know what my experience was like in a video rather than having someone read through all of my blogs. This is just kind of a quick update but this will probably be my last video for the whole jaw surgery thing being as I am six and a half months post-op so there isn't really much more to update on but I just wanted to say thank you so much to each and every one of you that have looked at my blog and have supported me through this whole journey and I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys just seeing the views on my blog and Having you, having your guys' comments be there for me to look at and everything, it was just like, it was really nice to be supported in this big life-changing event, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic year, and thanks again for all the support. Bye.